Welcome back. In this teaching video, I'll be looking at 10.3 forces and acceleration. 10.3 represents chapter 10, section 3 of the Pearson A Level Maths Applied Maths Year 1 textbook. Let's have a look at the key facts of this section. I'm going to begin by recapping some important notations. This notation over here means resolving horizontally, taking right to be the positive direction. This notation means resolving vertically, taking up to be the positive direction. Ladies and gents, for simplicity, always take the direction of acceleration to be the positive direction. So when you're resolving for forces, always take the direction of acceleration to be the positive direction. Newton's second law states that F is equal to MA, where F is the resultant force measured in Newtons, M is the mass measured in kg, A is acceleration measured in meters per second per second. W is equal to M multiplied by G, where W represents the weight, M represents the mass, and G represents the acceleration due to gravity. These are the key facts of 10.3 forces and acceleration. I'll be implementing these key facts within an example and an exam style question. Let's begin with an example. In each situation, the forces acting on the body cause it to accelerate as shown. Part A, find the mass of the body M. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. As you can see, the mass M is acting in the vertical direction. So the very first step is to resolve vertically. So I'm going to resolve vertically in the direction of the acceleration, which is downwards. I take downwards to be the positive direction. To generate the equation of motion for this body, I need to use Newton's second law, which is F equal MA. So F equal MA. Let's start by working out the resultant force F. This will be Mg minus 10. The reason why it's minus 10 is because 10 Newtons is acting upwards and we've taken downwards to be the positive direction. So the resultant force F is equal to mg minus 10. This must equal the mass m multiplied by the acceleration 5. g is acceleration due to gravity. g is equal to 9.8. So I can rewrite the first term as 9.8 m minus 10 equal 5 m. Now I need to rearrange to make m the subject. So I've got 9.8m minus 5m is equal to 10. That simplifies to 4.8m equal to 10. Hence, m is equal to 10 divided by 4.8. m is equal to 2.08 kilograms to three significant figures. Moving on to part b, find the acceleration of the body A. Now, as you can see here, the acceleration is acting in the vertical direction, hence we have to resolve vertically. So resolve vertically in the direction of the acceleration, which is upwards. So we take upwards to be the positive direction. To generate the equation of motion for this body, I need to use Newton's second law, which is F equal MA. The resultant force F is going to equal 100 minus 8G. So I've got 100 minus 8G equal the mass m which is 8 multiplied by the acceleration a now we need to make a the subject so i've got 100 minus 8 g divided by 8 is equal to a okay so i can substitute g equal 9.8 into this fraction and if i put this into my calculator i get a equal 2.7 meters per second per second that there, ladies and gents, completes my example. Let's have a look at an exam style question. A trolley of mass 50 kg is pulled from rest in a straight line along a horizontal path by means of a horizontal rope attached to its front end. The trolley accelerates at a constant rate and after two seconds, its speed is one meters per second. As it moves, the trolley experiences a resistance to motion of magnitude 20 newtons. Find part A, the acceleration of the trolley. Let's have a look at the solution to part A. Now before I'm going to work out the acceleration of the trolley, I'll start by drawing a force diagram illustrating this exam style question. So I've got a horizontal surface, I've got a trolley. The mass of the trolley is 50 kg. The weight of the trolley acts vertically downwards and it is given by 50 g. g is the acceleration due to gravity, G is equal to 9.8 meters per second per second. This trolley is in contact with the horizontal surface. Hence, the horizontal surface will exert a normal reaction on the trolley acting vertically upwards. We can call this R. 
Suppose the acceleration is to the right. So the trolley is accelerating to the right. A meters per second per second. A trolley of mass 50 kg is pulled from rest in a straight line along a horizontal path by means of a horizontal rope. So we have a rope and there is tension in the rope acting towards the right. Then we are told that the trolley experiences a resistance to motion of magnitude 20 newtons. So that resistance acts in the opposite direction to motion. So the resistance acts to the left. And that resistance is 20 newtons. I can label it as 20. This is my force diagram. Now, if I was to resolve horizontally, I'll have two unknowns in my equation of motion. I'll have the tension and I'll have the acceleration. So it's impossible to work out the acceleration by resolving horizontally. Alternatively, what I do have is enough information to use SUVAT in order to work out the acceleration. So I can write down SUVAT I don't know the displacement, so I can put an X there. It clearly says that the trolley of mass 50 kg is pulled from rest. So the initial velocity, U, is zero. And then we have that the trolley accelerates at a constant rate, and after two seconds, its speed is one meters per second. So the final velocity, V, is one. We want to work out the acceleration, A, so I can put a question mark there. And the time taken is two seconds. So the SUVAT formula that fits U, V, A, T is V equal U plus A, T. So now I can substitute my values in. I've got one equal U is just zero. So A uh, is what we're trying to work out. A multiplied by two, that is 2A. Hence the acceleration is equal to one over two, which is 0 0.5. So the acceleration is 0 0.5 meters per second per second. Moving on to part B of the exam style question. In part B, we want to work out the tension in the rope. So as you can see, the tension acts in the horizontal direction. So I'm going to resolve horizontally in the direction of the acceleration, which is to the right. So I take right to be the positive direction. To generate the equation of motion for the trolley, I'm going to be using Newton's second law F equal M A. So now I'm going to work out the resultant force F. This will be T minus 20. So T minus 20. We've taken right to be the positive direction, hence why we've got a minus 20, because 20 is acting to the left. So T minus 20 is the resultant force F. This must equal the mass of the trolley, which is 50, multiplied by the acceleration of the trolley, which is 0 0.5. So I've got T minus 20 is equal to 25, hence T is equal to 45 Newtons. That there, ladies and gents, completes the exam style question and the teaching video 10.3 forces and acceleration. If you found this teaching video useful, please don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, turn on your notification bell so that you receive notifications every time I post a new teaching video.